Welcome back everybody. This is part two. In the last video, we opened the first package, which contained four comics and three Pokemon cards. So that was its own video in itself. Now we're gonna examine what's inside these other four boxes. Let's go. We know we've got some comics, we've got some slabs. What's inside? Let's get into this Gemini mailer. Oh, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be cool. I had this one as a kid. Uh, I basically gave it away later in life to someone who was a comic book enthusiast. Um, and now that I'm back into comics, I kind of wanted to get this book back. Uh, and this time I picked it up in the newsstand variant. So when I had it as a kid, it was that you would call it the direct edition. This is the newsstand variant. It, it's, I would not say this is a 9.8, but it's, it's nice enough. It's nice to get it back in the house. Right out of the 90s with these hologram co covers. We have The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 365. Okay, and this is some type of key. And like I said, I had this as a kid. This was a fun time to be into comics. I know people love to kind of rag on the 90s comics and stuff, but... If you were there, it was actually a lot of fun. Um, and if you weren't there, I hope you can find some enjoyment in your comics. Let's get into this next box. Very interesting box. It's got this uh, slim priority mail. Let's go. <laughs> Wow, so this is an order I placed recently from a website. Again, I'm not sponsored, just keeping it real with you. I bought these from a website called Gotham City Comics. And um, <clears throat> the reason I bought them is because one of the only places I was able to find these comics, these are some comics of Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, but before we get into that, I also see like a bonus comic on the top. Or a free comic or something. What is this? We've got this package, right? But check it out. It's a Black Panther comic and some type of personalized message from Kevin. How cool is that? So shout out to Gotham City. Super cool. Open this up. This is so cool. Okay, so this Black Panther thing, guys, is this is a back cover. So whatever this is, I don't even know what it is. What is it? Oh, cool! A free comic from Free Comic Book Day. Uncanny Avengers. Okay, that's cool. We've seen those before. Now check it out. Oh yeah, baby. I think this is like a... Actually, I can tell you. This is what they call a 1 in 40 variant. Boom. Ha! <laughs> no pun intended. Boom. Guys, th this is from the original series of Garbage Pail Kids. Back, I, I want to say 1985. We collected and played with those cards, and uh, I don't know how popular they really are today, especially in this culture, which is, you know, sensitive. These things kind of push the envelope, and that could be a whole nother video. But guys, this is Garbage Pail Kids Comics, 1 in 40 variant. 
classic nostalgia for me. But I also picked up two issues of this one, just for fun. I think my grandson will get a big chuckle out of this, guys. So these are some really fun comics. You can see what I mean. Some people might be a little put off by the nature of these comics. You know, it's basically a big fart joke. So. If you like Beavis and Butthead and all that type of stuff, you might like Garbage Pail Kid. Anyhow, these are really fun, awesome to grab these. And guys, I think Kevin put something in here. Oh my gosh. Dude. He actually gave us a Garbage Pail Kid card. This might be autographed or something. I don't know. I haven't seen cards in a while. <laughs> Hysterical. Very, very cool. We got a card. Manny Eater. And I don't know if that's a signature or if that's part of the card. I'm not familiar with this exact set. This is from 2021. It says Smokin' Joe. So I, I'm not sure anything about this. I'll have to look into it. But Manny Eater. That was also a fun song called Man Eater. All right. So that was a sick, fun box to open. Thank you, Gotham City Comics. Shout out to you, Kevin. Thank you for the card and awesome. The one in 40 is looking real nice. Up next, we've got something. This is a slab. This is a slab. As I can see, this is from a place called Red Hood Comics. I've never done business with them, but they had what I was looking for. Um, if you saw in part one, we opened four comics in a series called Magic. Well, in this box, I believe we're going to have a slab that's going to be a key. I think this might be the origin of Magic. So let's see what we got. All right, so this is the slab. It's called the New Mutants number 14. This is the newsstand edition from 1984. New Mutants. As you can see, this is a 9.6. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not really much into the New Mutants, but there's a couple, I guess, a key of key issues. This one, it, it says it's the first Ileana Rasputin as Magic. So I think that means it's the first appearance of Magic. Um, so yeah. Very cool to have this now as part of the collection. I'm kind of going, I'm going on this magic kick. You know, I got this recently. And I think I got, picked up another magic comic recently. And uh, it's now just kind of spawned into what it is. You know, I, I, I just buy the comics that I like. I don't know if she's a trending character right now or not, but um, not someone I was very familiar with as a kid, but now in my new comic journey, in this version of my life, uh, it's, she's a, kind of a new character who I think is pretty cool. So this is now the or, uh, first appearance of Magic. I, I looked at the 9.8, I wanted a newsstand, and it just was a little bit above my pay grade if I could even find one uh, for what I really wanted to spend. So, 
you know, I, I, I can be okay with having, you know, a 9.6. I didn't, I don't feel I overpaid for this. So, um, and it's a newsstand. So I'm, 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 this is, I'm solid with this. This is good. This is, uh, this is, I'll be, I'm, we're good. Yeah, this is uh, another one that came in recently in a mystery box. So this also helped kind of kick off the whole magic thing, right? And then I talked to my brother. He's playing a video game like the Midnight Suns where magic's involved. And he was, we were talking about that. So it just all kind of happened at once. I said, I'm going to get some magic comics. So, yeah. We have one last package to open. It looks like it could have a slab in it, but honestly, I don't even know. I've ordered so many things and so many orders have not shipped or been fulfilled. I don't, I don't know what this is. It says it's from like a human. So I don't know. Maybe something I got on eBay. I think, I think this could be a slab. I think we got a slab here. I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> Gentlemen, boom. Keeping that magic theme alive. I think that's her in the middle, right? Yes, it is. Obviously, this is a different artist interpretation. The artist is J.S. Campbell, one of my favorites. If you're a fan of the channel, you already know that. And this book is called The Extraordinary X-Men, number one. It came out in 2016. And this is the jscottcampbell.com edition. So yeah, this is from 2016. Something I've definitely seen and kind of, it's kind of evaded me and escaped me and now it's going to find a home. So yay. Yeah been really fun opening these boxes and sharing the comics and the joy in this experience with you. I appreciate you tuning in. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps and gives me the motivation to keep doing this and creating new content, sharing it with everyone. Have a great weekend, day, night, whatever it is you're going to do today, tomorrow. Have fun. Enjoy your comics. See you in the next video. Peace.